The recycling of old scrap tires is a difficult and energy consuming process, and a lot of them still end up in landfills. But there is a way to make good use of this waste. By filling them with compressed earth and gravel, scrap tires can surface foundations. In this video, we will show you how we used old tires to make single step footings for our green roof. Yeah, I think that's it. Welcome to our production center here in Porto. My name is Philip and this is Sam and in this video we want to explain the development of a new prototype experimented here in Critical Concrete. If you're interested in our research, visit our website where we already published a more detailed article about tire foundations and about many more topics related to sustainable and social architecture. To stay updated with our work, you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram and of course subscribe to this YouTube channel right here. And now, let's get to those tire foundations. First, we will tell you a little bit of how we came across tire foundations and about our research. And afterwards, we will give you a step-by-step -step explanation of how we implemented the tire foundations here in our construction. As we developed and built a green roof, we needed a strong structure to carry the heavy loads. Partly, the existing walls could carry this weight. But in some parts, we needed new foundations. And since we are developing sustainable ways of building, we didn't want to use concrete, and therefore we're looking into more alternative ways of building. During our research, we stumbled upon the concept of reusing scrap tires filled with earth as foundations. People have already done this in many different ways, yet we didn't find any case that suited exactly what we wanted to do. And this is why we developed a single step tire footing, which is basically a tire foundation for a column. But first let's clarify why we don't want to use concrete. Concrete is a very useful material with a lot of good properties and it will revolutionize architecture. Nevertheless, it's everything but sustainable. The production of cement uses a lot of energy. Sand, which is needed for concrete, is getting more and more scarce and once these materials are put together, it's not possible to separate them back again on a large scale. Tire foundations, on the other hand, are a low-tech solution which is composed only of scrap tires filled with compressed gravel and earth. Both components are easily accessible all over the world. The tires get filled and the earth compressed by which a stress-resistant and highly durable foundation unit is created. Various cases have already been tested and are being used in the construction field all over the world. For example, it's being used to make roadbeds of streets and they're referred to as mechanical concrete. The Holy Trinity Church in Tulse Hill, London, used it as a foundation for a straw bale building. A video documentation of their construction process is linked below. Earthship Bioarchitecture, developed by the architect Michael Reynolds, makes use of earth ramped tires for building the main retaining walls of a house. This technique is presented as the most appropriate method for its strength, economy and lack of specific skills needed. The flexibility of the tire can also offer durable protection in a seismic area. It can be used in every stable soil, even in clay soil. In tests in the IUT of Grenoble, the tire foundation withstanded an amazing pressure of 72 tons without any damage or detectable movement. These examples show what scrap tires are capable of. For more details and data, you can check out the article on our website. So as you saw, there are already quite some use cases for tire foundations, yet none of them really exactly fit our specific needs. Part of our roof lays on granite walls, which we refurbished while the other part is carried by columns. These columns needed foundations. We split the roof in two with an expansion joint in between to allow movement and observation of the structure. The foundation is made out of three parts, the metal plate, which is with traded rods connected to the socket that is holding the column and the with gravel filled tires in between. The metal plate is the base which will distribute the forces, make the anchoring of the socket possible. The flexible and durable tire that is filled with compacted gravel is the heart of the foundation and is part that will carry the load. We chose to use a truck tire at the bottom and a smaller car tire on top. The socket is then holding the column and is bolted to the base plate. The first step before starting the foundation is analysis of the ground. The soil has to be capable of bearing the required loads. If the soil is not suitable, there are different possibilities, like reinforcing the ground itself, digging deeper or changing the foundation type. 
In our case, we need to dig until about 70 centimeters under the floor level to find proper soil. We decided to put a layer of 5 cm of compressed gravel, frequently used under footings, to have a correct level. The metal plate is the base of the foundation and serves as a solid surface for the tires. The plate we used has a thickness of 2 cm. Before putting the plate in the pit, we put a breathable and waterproof membrane that should protect the plate from humidity in the ground. We painted the base plate and especially the weld joints with anti corrosive paint. We still don't know yet how this will react over time, and neither if it's going to be efficient enough to protect the welds from humidity. Our main objective is to take all the necessary precautions to avoid that water eventually permeates and settles at the bottom of the foundation. To make anchoring of the columns possible, four threaded rods were used. The socket will later on be fixed with bolts to these rods. To make sure the rods don't move while filling the tires, a wooden guide was used, composed of two pieces that represent the two plates with holes for the four rods, and a long bar to keep everything aligned and in place. To fill the tires, we used gravel made from local stone in the north of Portugal. It comes in three sizes, and after discussion with the engineer, we decided to use the smallest, to have a better cohesion. We also added some sand to create a mix with better holding, and leave no empty space in between the gravel. We used the ratio of two parts of gravel and one part of sand. At first, the tire can be filled with a shovel and by hands. When it's no longer possible to get any more of the mix in, a crowbar can be used to open up the tire. Once held open, a second person can then continue to fill up the space with a piece of wood or a hammer to compress it really well. This needs to be done until the tire is inflated and no more mix can be added. The steel socket, which is holding this column, is made out of three pieces of steel. The objective is to obtain a socket that correctly holds the column. We thought about different forms and finally settled with a U-form that could maintain the feet of the column and be correctly fixed to the lower part of the foundation. The base plate of the socket has four holes to be fixed with the threaded rods of the foundation. The holes of the plate have to line up with the position of the threaded rods. The second part being the two steel brackets, which are welded to the plate and hold the column with two horizontal threaded rods. After drilling and welding, the socket can be fixed and receive the column. For the next steps of laying the socket on the tires and fixing the socket in place, make sure to always keep checking the level and alignment of each foundation. The application of the tire foundation has been challenging but successful so far. It is carrying the roof structure but needs further observation as to how it will react under the full load of the green roof, including soil and veg vegetation. To be able to observe any kind of movement, we installed a measuring unit that we plan to control and observe regularly. These are basically the steps of setting up a single step tire footing. In this video the description is held briefly and only contains the most important information. In case you didn't already, check out the article for a more detailed step by step guide, list of needed tools and the time and price comparison to a concrete foundation. Our goal is it to keep developing and improving tire foundations. So we're really curious to hear your opinion and your feedback. Just leave us a comment or write us an email. Do you think that tire foundations can be a real alternative to concrete ones? If you're interested in our work and don't want to miss out on any new content that we create, just subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And if you really want to support us and our project, you can become a Patreon. All the information you need are in the description below. So thanks for watching and always stay critical. Video, video, video.